I'm a guy that likes to take things to the extremes they shouldn't be taken to. Blade, white armor, drinking type beats were always supposed to be rather simple ditties for little emo boys to vibe to. But one day Ask Enemy was finishing a project of mine and he sends me this. I mean, there's no way I would ever attempt to break down this beat for anybody, right? The entire project really revolves around this one melody that consists of two very simple parts. First of all, we have this chord progression right there. And then we have this very simple melody on top. This top melody actually only uses four notes, and this is the A note, the B note, the C sharp note and the E note. You're pretty much guaranteed to make a good dragging type melody if you only use these four notes. They are the first, the second, the third, and the fifth of your major scale you're working in. So for example, if you're in C major, these notes would be C, D, E, and G. And the chords you wanna use are mainly the four, five, and six. So if you're in C major, then that would be F major, G major, and A minor. So in order to make this melody sound nice and full, we pasted it onto six different presets. The first one I just showed you is actually a preset from the Thomas K Mop Serum Bank, which you can get for free. Just search up like Thomas K Mop Free Serum on YouTube. These are actually really good for white armor type beats. I use them a lot. Then we have this Hive preset. Then we have this key one shot that Ask Enemy found. Then we have another Serum preset. This Harp one shot. And lastly, this Spire Plug. So this Spire Plug actually has a lot of interesting mixing. First of all, this really aggressive EQ, Grows Beat with some tiny glitch effects, a bit of the lo-fi effect from Effector, another delay, Valhalla Vintage Verb, this one beat gate, Grows Beat preset, which you're gonna see a lot in this beat. This preset is actually great for giving your beats bounce, especially when you're when you're putting it on melodies. Then another Grows Beat preset, this time it's a little bit different. Another EQ to cut out the low end, because Grows Beat presets really often generate a lot of low end, a lot of like clicks in the low end, so it's nice to cut them off. And then then cut a bit of low end and boost it off the high end on the on the mixer EQ here. Then we have another sound from the Thomas came up free banks. This time it's a lead like this. Very simple melody, again emphasizing the A note, which is the root of our major scale, and also the E, which is the fifth. These are the two most important notes, in my opinion, when it comes to like blade beats and drinking type beats. So the first and the fifth. So if you're in A major, that would be A and E. If you're in C major, that would be C and G and so on. Then we have another sound from Serum. And again, it's from the Thomas Came Up Free Banks. This is the 109 Wave preset. Again, emphasizing the first and the fifth, which is A and E. This is the same exact pattern copied onto a different sound. That's a super solid from Spire. And this is the same exact mix preset from earlier. So we have this one beat gate preset from Grosby, obviously, which is really present here. And also these Grosby glitches, like slowdowns here, which is giving it really nice bounce. Then we have another Spire lead. And again, we use the notes A, E, A, E. You should start seeing a pattern here. Obviously, this lead has a lot of delay. And we also have these sliding notes here. So if you put one note, and then one above it. And then you hold Alt and make the second one start a little bit later, like this. You're gonna have a sliding note. We use this a lot, especially in Hyperpop Digicore. And if you have a preset Inspire that doesn't do that, all you have to do is click right there, Inspire, where it says Mode, and then switch it to Mono for Legato Flow. And if you want to do that in Serum, then you have to enable the Mono, you have to enable the Legato, and then you have to make the Portamento time whatever you want. Usually I go around 40 milliseconds. Then we have another pad. Again, the one beat gate, gross beat preset, really important. Then we have this pretty crazy lead pattern. That's also some random serum preset. Again, we're using a lot of the A, a lot of the E. Again, it has a lot of delay. Again, it uses the slide notes we talked about earlier. And also we have these shortened notes. 
which also give a lot of bounce, and also it's a technique used really often in hyper pop digicore. So when making leads like this, what I really like to do is to get one note of normal length, and then the second one of half of the length of the first note, so like this, and then just copy this pattern like this. And if you combine that with delay, it gives a really nice bouncy effect. And if you combine that with sliding notes also, that's even better. Okay, you get that? Then we have another lead, and the same exact thing applies here. Also sliding notes, and this is just a very basic sine lead with some processing. And then we have one last sound for the melody, and this is going to be this white armor style bass. It's also from Serum. And then the whole melody sounds like this. And now we get to the drums. We start with a very interesting sound selection choice, which I've been doing a lot recently. So we actually have this clap that has virtually no high end. It's very filtered and it sounds like this. Obviously you can hear reverb on this clap and that's because it has this Valhalla Supermassive. We also put a bit of Fruity Flangus on the entirety of the drums, which I think is also interesting. Then we have this hi-hat pattern. We use a bit of triplets here, just to give it a bit more bounce, and also a lot of pauses. You can notice that it's not just a, like a regular two-step hi-hat pattern. This open hat pattern, which actually gives a lot of bounce to the beat, Now I think this 808 is from a love bug kit, just a very basic pattern, but it's a very nice sound. And a kick, and obviously you can hear that the 808 is sidechained to the kick, which is what gives a lot of bounce to the beat. Then we have this chant. This open hat, which is actually a really long open hat, it's kind of like a crash really. Another snare. Another open hat. Then this really nice crash slash impact sound. It's really kind of just white noise. Then the kick is actually layered with a crash, which is also a very commonly used technique in blade type beats and ivy leak type beats. Then we have this pretty crazy snare roll. And another one. And all of that together sounds like this. The arrangement in this beat is actually pretty important. So we have these two main leads. So obviously one of the main leads is this one. And then the other one is this one. Notice that they actually switch around, so we have this one mainly playing, and then it's the other one, without this one, so... This makes the arrangement a bit more interesting, and a bit more fun to listen to. So after a hook, there's this nice love filter automation, which is automating the cutoff. And it slowly goes back up. And it also happens like in the middle of the drop. So there's sort of like this delayed transition, delayed drop. We also have this very famous love filter preset. So the way to get this preset is you go to presets in the Fruity Love Filter plugin. You go to presets and then you choose PC Low Pass Plus Phaser. And this gives you that nice wah 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 effect. <laughs> Lastly, we have some risers, the classic Love Bug riser. A basic crash transition. Classic Digicore transition. And this very nice sweep sound. 
And for mastering, we have Fresh Air, which is just boosting a bit of the high end to make everything sound a bit more clear, a very subtle EQ just for ADHD purposes, a soft clipper with the default settings, and then after the soft clipper, a fruit delimiter with stock settings with plus 1 dB of gain. So basically after the soft clipper clips everything, then there's this limiter which just pushes the volume a bit up and makes everything just a bit more squashed, which I believe adds a bit more bounce and just glue to the beat. And that's about it. When it comes to the presets we used, a lot of them are just random sounds we found, but some of the melody sounds are from my timeless drum kit, some of the sounds are from Ask Enemy's own drum kit, and as I said before, some of the melody sounds are from the free Thomas Came Up uh, serum banks. So I'm going to leave all of these kits in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was valuable. If you have any questions or criticism, make sure to leave them in the comments. I, I'm really open for discussion. I'm really open for learning new things and teaching you guys if you have any questions on anything really. I'm gonna answer all of the questions. And lastly, massive thanks to Ask Enemy for helping me out with this massive gorgeous project. Ask Enemy is an awesome producer. I'm, I'm also gonna link his channel in the description and I'll see you very soon.